A new public safety issue during flood cleanup. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. A Sarpy County community discovered potentially deadly chemicals thrown out improperly. As senior reporter Jake Wasikowski reports, they're trying to figure out how to keep people safe and get the materials out. It's a story you'll see only on three. Hazardous household materials aren't a new site at Hanson, Chris and Betty Lakes. Some of it was floating around during the March flooding, but they're dealing with an even bigger problem. Someone dumped very hazardous chemicals in the pile. We knew it was going to be a little bit of a problem, but we didn't realize how significant a problem it was until we took an inventory. Chip Frazier immediately contacted Sarpy County authorities. The materials are now secured in a trailer. They include seven rusted cans of ethyl ether, three pounds of mercury, and a broken vial of potassium cyanide. The cyanide is a potentially deadly poison. Uh, ethyl ether, uh, if they had shaken the bottle, wondering what's inside of it, could have exploded in their hands. Anybody in that pile curious could have wandered through. Uh, and we had people who were picking up pan, uh, cans of paint to take them to under the sink to properly dispose of the material. And uh, they wouldn't have known. Now, almost all of the hazardous household materials have been taken away from the lakes, but Chip says it's unclear when those extremely dangerous materials will be properly disposed of. They're too dangerous to take to the landfill or under the sink, so a specialized contractor needs to do the work. The chemicals are contained now, so we do not believe they're any kind of threat to the public, but um, we do have to find a way to get them uh, properly disposed of. It's unclear who left them and if they knew what they had. Frazier wants people to realize the danger this has put the community in. Take a moment and, and try and understand uh, they have a responsibility to the community to take care of these things properly rather than just dump them on the side of the street. NEMA and the EPA are working to begin the removal process for those hazardous chemicals as soon as possible. Reporting in Sarpy County, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. If you know who disposed of those chemicals at Hanson, Chris and Betty Lakes, call the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office.